Are you guys ready to see the big reveal of all the treasures I found? <laughs> no! <laughs> Ridiculous. You didn't leave anything for me. Today we're in the Chattahoochee River located in Columbus, Georgia, and I'm going scuba diving for river treasure. If you're new to my channel, it sounds a little weird, but we're searching for people's lost iPhones, people's lost GoPros, cool things like that, but you never know what you can find in the river. But I'm teaming up with my friend Tristan to hopefully find some great stuff in the water today. So right now the river looks peaceful and calm because it's at low flow, but in less than an hour the water's going to be rising and this place is going to be very, very dangerous to be in. What's amazing about this spot, it's actually the world's largest urban whitewater course ever ever built. Thousands and thousands of people go down this river every single day just like those rafters and that's why we find iPhones, GoPros, watches, rings, cool things like that. You never know what we can come across. This place is a good mix of really yeah. bad stuff <laughs> and really good stuff. <laughs> Let's get underwater, check it out, and hopefully find some amazing river treasure. Hey, whatever we find, we find. <laughs> Some Oakleys? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Ooh, dang. Try them out. You're about the coolest scuba diver I've ever seen. It actually looks like it fit. <laughs> <laughs> On this giant anchor. These things are super expensive. Someone can definitely reuse it. Oh, that's a good one. and I found what I believe is a message in the bottle. I have no idea what this is, but let's open it. All that was inside of it was rocks, but if you look closely, there's pieces of paper. Usually in these voodoo jars, I find people who write names, and at the end of that name, they write die. I'm thinking who's ever doing this is writing death wishes to these people, so or, it's a little weird. I don't know about this one because the water messed up all the words. Let me know in the comments below what you think this was. I think it's voodoo. Hey, this is bad voodoo, dude. Was all on you, man. Yep. Not me. You made me open it, brother. All right, so we're gonna go all the way over across the river, but to get there, we have to go underneath this current. Hey, be careful. Don't hit your head on a rock, for real. <laughs> Dang, what? How do you say this right now? Wish us luck. Here we go. <laughs> Look what I just found, a boat anchor. I'm gonna stick it up over here on this island so another boater can come and reuse it if they like to. Don't wanna throw this away. This is awesome. Got a lot. No way. It's actually a super expensive I know, like, That's gotta be a hundred bucks at minimum. Least. And you can reuse that too Free if you want it to. It. What else you find? All right. <laughs> oh, dang, dude, that could be a lot of money. <laughs> what is that? A little, uh, citizen. It's called a citizen. It's genuine leather. Genuine leather. <laughs> That's awesome. 
<laughs> so on our swim over here, Tristan already found a very nice watch. I can't believe it. He's already headed a game, but it's time to drop into the scariest, deepest section of the river. It's called cut bait. Big catfish are down there and other things that could probably eat you. Let's get down there and hopefully find some river treasure. We're gonna head directly to the deepest spot. Okay. That's where we can find GoPros and phones. I wanna try to grow a catfish too, like the old Oh, if you see one? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> reach right, in if, there. If I find one sitting <laughs> chilling, I will point it out. All right, all right, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> You go first. Oh, arm and uh, arm. Arm and arm. <laughs> there you go. All right, come on. Every man. There's gonna be catfish as big as us down there, so we gotta be very careful. I wasn't that bad. I found a couple of things, but nothing like crazy valuable. 20 feet where we were, but I know it drops down to like over 30, somewhere over here. <laughs> All right, don't die on me, T. I need you. Shut up. <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh. 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 You would not believe what I just saw. I saw a big flathead catfish. Inside the mouth of the catfish, I saw another catfish no. and it was still alive. It was just sitting there trying to swim out and I saw it face to face and it swam away from me. I was like, oh my gosh. This place is super dangerous. Fishermen are always here. So there's gonna be fishing line, hooks, everything that you don't want to get caught up on. So we're gonna be very, very careful. But there's gonna be some good stuff in here as well. I scared Tristan so bad underwater. He thought I was gone. And I held my breath and I grabbed his foot. He's like, ah! The reason I was freaked out is because a big flathead just had just swam past me. Oh, really? Me. So when you grabbed me, it was ah. like right after he had left. <laughs> Excuses. Excuses. Hold on, let me show you something cool stuff I got. You see those big fishing lures I, I was pulling up? Those Two are crazy. right there beside yeah. each other. Those are probably, what, $50 a piece? <sighs> They were big, they were nice. I'm gonna show you my best find so far. Man, I got Tristan a bag Tristan doesn't full. even know I found it. You got a bag, I got a bag full. <laughs> we found a bunch of fishing lures. You hear that? That's gold. Gold? We're back in the G game, baby. He did not find no gold. <laughs> this place is like world famous for fishing, and some of the lures that I have in here are well over probably $100. Yeah. But the best thing I found so far is not a fishing lure. Are you ready? No. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm wondering how long that's been there because look how rusted like it looks. So the coolest thing about finding GoPros is that we can actually plug the SD card into the computer to review the footage in hopes of finding the owner. If you want to see that video, drop a thumbs up on this. If this video reaches 100,000 likes, Tristan and I will make a video dedicated to seeing what is on this GoPro. We found a lot of crazy stuff at this spot, but we're off to the next one. We're going to get back underwater and hopefully find maybe an iPhone, maybe another GoPro. You just never know, but let's get underwater and start making our way down river again.
Jake has talked me into something that I really want to do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Go down. Ah! Water and we found some insane stuff. I'm not gonna show you guys what Tristan found. You have to go to his channel and check it out for yourself. But I have some incredible things I want to show you that I came across on the water and Tristan hasn't seen them yet. What do you think? I don't know. There, there could be guns, phones. I know you do have a GoPro because you showed yeah, yeah, me that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if there's <laughs> anything else. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, let's go check it out. You want me to look at Wait, certain? Come over here. Come, 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 come here, brother. Come here. Yeah. All right, good one. <laughs> Jake. Isn't that cool? That is ridiculous. Are you guys ready to see the big reveal of all the treasures <laughs> I found? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Bro. All right, let's check it out. He didn't leave anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my best finds of the oh, whole time. I found my very first iPhone 12. I'm not too sure what kind of phone this is. And I found five Apple Watches and a Garmin watch worth over $600. And of course, the GoPro Hero 4. Is this these like my your best watch? Phone. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like mine, but not the dive one. Perfect. That's cool. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I almost broke my personal best for Apple Watches in one day. I found I five. You. That's I crazy. You too, bro. <laughs> I found so many fishing lures, but these over here to the right are my absolute favorite. These ones right here are called Harbait Fishing Lures, and some of these could be worth $50 to $100 or maybe even more. I could definitely reuse these. I can gift them to a kid if I see someone fishing. I don't want to throw them away because these are awesome. Since you found so many Apple Watches, and you're yeah. going to do your best to try to return those. That's oh, yeah. really cool. All, All right. the hard baits that can be reused, you should give away. All right, so if you want a chance to have one of these lures, it might be moldy. <laughs> All you have to do is leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, then head over to Tristan's channel and subscribe to his channel. Leave a comment on my video saying you did all that and I will pick a handful of people to give all these awesome cool looking lures to. That is pretty awesome. I found my very first iPhone 12, a bunch of watches and like every other day I will try my very best to find who all this belongs to and give it back to them completely for free. Hope you enjoyed the video but we'll catch you guys on the next adventure. I'm so Let's go! Come on, Brandon!